I've been uh, physically followed by the security authorities. If there is one car that is behind you for a long time, you might need to take the necessary measures. But I, I do, I, I check if there are some cars following me. I got used to that kind of things now. They are trying to uh, keep me under pressure and harass me. I was fired from my work. They denied me the uh, certificate of good conduct, which is a prerequisite for any type of job in UAE. My passport has not been returned to me. Uh, I have been attacked twice within one week by some unknown individuals at the university. And the possibility is always there for, for me being arrested for my activities. UAE was initially looked at by most of the countries as uh, an open uh, and progressive country and the UAE was really the real hope and the, uh, you know, it was the candle in a very complex region. After the pass of the founder of the country, we started to see uh, more power being given to the security authorities and they are unaccountable for their activities and they are not an entity that you can take to court or establish some sort of conversation with. They take actions and you find yourself fighting against ghosts, basically. I always wanted to see change. I believed a lot in equality, but I was not engaged in direct activities myself until the government decided to nail down the most critical discussion forum. And they also arrested the owner of the site and another writer of the site. So I thought it is time to take an action by writing a petition demanding the release of those individuals as well as opening the site again for public. The site remained blocked, but at least the charges were dropped against him. But after that incident, I decided that if this is going to continue, then some sort of awareness needs to be raised. And that's where I really got uh, involved and decided to go systematically in, in, in this and expand the horizon of uh, the interest of human rights in it. After the start of the Arab Spring, we initiated a petition asking the president to allow the improvement of the parliament and give it the real authorities. We were accused of insulting the President and the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and the Prime Minister of UAE. Uh, and in addition to those uh, charges, I was also accused personally that I was trying to instigate people against the government and have them uh, disobey the law. I was arrested on the 8th of April 2011. Our trial uh, in the beginning was behind closed doors. They deprived us from uh, getting medical treatment for a few months until we went into hunger strike. No day in court for five political activists being tried in the United Arab Emirates on charges of insulting the country's leaders as they refused to attend a court hearing protesting against alleged mistreatment. One of the Four individuals were given two years imprisonment sentence and I was given three years, but uh, next day we were released on a presidential pardon after spending nearly eight months in jail. When I was released and I came back home, uh, I lost a lot of weight and my shape uh, changed dramatically. And I wanted to hug my young uh, kid and he started to scream and cry in a hysterious way, he could not recognize me. And that was really the most difficult uh, moment for me.
the security authorities in the country. He started to campaign, trying to tarnish me and fabricate videos and stories about me. I received several death threats from individuals who gave their phone numbers and their full names. And that kind of campaign was running for almost eight months, continuously, on a daily basis, on all the uh, printed press, on the TV, on the radio, on the ground, and the social media. الراس يغلي ودمه في العروب يهور تفوع وجه العميل الخاين الطرطور من ينكر أفضال داره وفضله يا خدارة نشهد أنه دويني وخايب ومعذور عميل للهرس يا ما سحلي ولا الغرب أنت ما هو بكفر There was absolutely no reason for this kind of repression because people here throughout the history never really uh, posed any threat to the government. They were never in a clash with the government. In 2012, 2013 and 14 time frame, things regressed and dramatically and individuals were arrested arbitrarily from mosques, from the streets, from everywhere. Not only that, their, their uh, family members were uh, really fired from their job. Some others were not allowed to open businesses. Some of them were deprived from renewing their business trade license. They cannot travel outside to get a job. So they are really pushing people to that edge. One thing that uh, we should be very aware of is that uh, is there's no way that you can measure the public opinion in the country here because uh, there is no free will. People are afraid to talk. At the same time, people are not going to stop. We are not going to stop. We have to continue doing whatever we are doing. Yes, we do not have the same power and authority and the resources that the government has but, uh, you know, we have to do something right now. Even removing one stone from this mountain is better than just keeping the mountain as is. <laughs>